What's up guys, it's your fave Brendan from Modern to Me, and today we're going to be talking about decimals in Java. So in a lot of programming languages, Java included, decimal numbers are represented by two different kinds of variables. So for uh, whole numbers, you generally just use int. There are some others I might discuss in later tutorials. But for decimals, there's two. There is one called a float, and there is one called double. When uh, when they named it float, they didn't just randomly name it after like a floating balloon that they saw and they were inspired to name the variable float. No, it actually has meaning. Float means a floating point number, like a decimal number. And a double means double precision floating point number. So when, it, when they mean double precision, they basically mean you can go twice as far uh, in terms of being precise uh, than a float. So in ter for things like neural networks and other complicated stuff like that, you might use a double because you might need really, really uh, specific uh, data. But for our uses, we don't really, a lot of times in games, you actually need ints a lot more than uh, floats, more than I've ever used. But in case you need something like specific uh, velocities, specific angles also, you're actually really not gonna need floats as much as you think. If you need something really precise, there is another, um, there's other means to get very, very precise decimal numbers, and I'll be discussing that later after we talk about classes, but for now, it's nice to know uh, what floats are. So, if we uh, are getting started here, we'll take this out, clear out our code from last time, clean it up, and we will tell our computer that we want to use a float value, and we will name this value pi, and set it equal to 3.1415. One five, not three or four. There we go. But if you look here, you'll see that there's an error. And you'll see that it can't convert from double to float. So basically what's happening is when you're typing in a, uh, uh, a decimal number, it's automatically thinking, okay, it's a decimal, so it's a double because computers aren't people and they don't realize that there's actually a float too. So to solve this problem, it's real easy. When you're uh, defining a float or ever referring to a number that's a float, just put an F at the end. And the problem is solved. You're still getting a warning, but that's just because we are not using pi. But we are going to use pi. Here we go. Let's uh, print this bit, uh, this, ugh, print this bad boy out, and we are gonna do our control F11 and run our program. And if you check out the output, you see, we have done it. 3.1415 right in the console. There we go, I can say that word now. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. If we uh, type that as a double, let's try, let's try that out, why not? Don't have anywhere to be, I've got all night. Let's go float, not float, double, double pi. Can't have this F at the end here. What, what you can do is you can put a D to represent double, but it's already represented automatically, so we might as well just keep it at that. So we got that going, and if we uh, run our program, uh, we'll see that we get the same output. So uh, that works too. So just recap, we are defining our variable as a double, calling it pi, and setting it to a number, and then we're just printing it out here like we have been. So that's all there really is to it, guys. Next tutorial, we're gonna be getting a lot more in depth with these variables. We're not just gonna be making numbers and putting them out in the console. We're gonna be doing more with them. So I will see you guys there. It's gonna be a blast.